This is the construction of a rocket stove. This is something I built using recycled materials I found around the house. This is the burn chamber. The wood goes on top. Air is lifted underneath. I built these two little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, something to give it air, keep it off of the stove pipe, put a pot on to boil water. I'm going to take this apart to show the steps. I cut this out, that way the air coming underneath would have more room to breathe. I use sand as, and dirt as my base, as my six-year-old dug up. I uh, didn't want to use vermiculite. I wanted this to be more of a survival situation. First. Go. I use sand instead of vermiculite that my seven-year-old dug up out of the yard. It was sand-dirt mixture. I wanted this to be more of a survival situation than using vermiculite, which would be hard to come by in a situation. I just filled it up to the top, and of course some of it has settled as it's cooked. I, uh, I'm going to dump this out and then start taking apart the stove. Okay. I have dumped the sand out, now I'm going to take this apart. One soup can, bottom, top cut off, and little flanges cut all the way around, bent inward to fit into the next soup can. This kind of went in like this. And then the burn chamber at the bottom. I put a screw in to hold it to keep it from moving around. Using 10 snips, I trace the can out, cut the hole. One soup can, two soup cans. Still has the bottom in it. can I cut the top out of, trace the can, cut a hole in the side, and then this was my chamber that I cut for the burn, for the wood to sit on and the air to go in and cut it out, stuck it in. And traced it out the best I could to give it as much air as possible. One hint when doing this, Wear gloves, it will cut you. It got me twice. Let's see here. That's what the internals would look like. And then two coffee cans. I used a soup can, one of the lids, to get it off the bottom. One coffee can. Nothing done, one coffee can, the lid or the bottom cut out of it, same thing, cut little tabs to bend them in so it would fit in. So all told, six sheet metal screws, two coffee cans, four soup cans. It was very efficient on wood, took me about an hour and a half from starting to scrounge for the materials to actually having boiling water sitting on top. Thanks.